Yeah, hi. So this is essentially going to be a quick video on how to remember the B vitamins. Now, the B vitamins can be quite hard to remember, especially in chronological order. Um, the B vitamins are as follows. B1 thiamine, B2 riboflavin, B3 niacin, B5 pentothenic acid, B6 pyridoxine, uh, B7 biotin, B9 folic acid, and B12 cyanocobalamin. So B1, B2, B5, B6, B7, B9, B12, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, uh, niacin, uh, pentothenic acid, pyridoxine, uh, biotin, folic acid, and cyanocobalamin. Now, <clears throat> there's a, quite an easy technique you can use to remember um, a complex terminology or particular a particular sequence of words in a particular order, and that's with um, acronyms. So essentially, what you do is you just use a strong association with um, that particular word you're trying to remember. <laughs> so in, in my instance, for example, what I do is I will make strong associations with each word, and I will create a visualization of that association. So for example, thiamine, I think of the with riboflavin, I think of ripped. With niacin, I think of a nun. With uh, B5, I think of uh, um, with pentothenic acid, I think of produced. With B6 pyridoxine, I think of peroxide. With B7 biotin, I think of biotin. With B9 folic acid, I think of foliage. And with B12 cyanocarbolabin, I think of cobras. So essentially, what you what you get when it all comes together is the ripped, nun, produced, peroxide, biotin, cobras. Uh, sorry, peroxide, biotin, foliage, cobras. So what, what I essentially uh, visualise when I'm thinking about this is a bizarre image of a nun with a phenomenal set of abs, veins popping out of her arms, you know, this real uh, jacked up nun um, with uh, shooting, uh, projecting cobras out of her vagina, um, uh, which <laughs> who are so you know um crawling around on the floor in foliage uh popping out of the foliage to hiss and spit venom uh peroxide venom at me you know dripping in vagina juice and that, that that's the bizarre profound image i have in my head when i think of the b vitamins and that helps me remember it because it's such a strong association it's almost hard to get this crazy image of this ripped nun standing there <clears throat> with a skirt up with these you know cobras on the floor covered in slime and spitting peroxide at you um so that's a bizarre association that i have with it that way i use the same method as well to remember the fat soluble vitamins a d e and k so essentially if you write the fat soluble um vitamins out a d e and k you end up with a word that pronounces adic now when i um how I first remembered the uh, fat soluble vitamins off the top of my head was when I was listening to a Jamaican radio station where this Jamaican guy was talking about this uh, little little back boy called Adek uh, who's deficient in uh, fat soluble B vitamins and uh, you know as he was saying this I could picture this little Jamaican boy this little black Jamaican boy who was deficient in fat soluble vitamins and now, when I think of fat soluble vitamins, I just see this little Jamaican boy. So that that for me is a strong visual association that I have with the with the fat soluble vitamins. So that's how I also remember it. Um, acronyms are really um, quite a powerful um, memory recollection tool, and it hasn't you know this you can apply this technique to all aspects of your learning when it comes to learning like complex words and terminology um, it pretty much does apply to quite a lot of things i mean everyone's heard of naughty elephant squirt water you know um that's how we remember northeast southwest everyone's got their own little acronym for remembering it and using what works for them so my advice is to use this uh, linguistic abbreviation method to remember the b vitamins in whatever with whatever strong association you can use with it yourself whether it's a uh, written none giving birth to cobras like what I can see or any other bizarre way of doing it itself but regardless um, find something that works for you um, this is obviously not the best it, um, not not everyone needs to know the B vitamins but obviously if you're studying nutrition at university great if you're just want to you're into health and fitness and you just want to show uh, just you know show after your mates you just remember the B vitamins is quite a cool thing to be able to recite off the top of your head so I hope that helps some people, especially those who are studying nutrition. Um, it always pays to be able to remember the B vitamins off the top of your head. A lot of people get confused with them. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.